We knew that we were where we were going and why we were going to Canton. So that was no mystery anymore. Finally, I'm going to the Hall of Fame. He doesn't show his emotions very much, but he was really looking forward to it, and he was just overwhelmed. I mean, it's been a great ride. <laughs> I know that Tom has been disappointed in the past by not making it, but he made it now, and that's what's important. And we're all able to enjoy it and participate, and so that makes it even more memorable to us. Leaving my home in Palm Springs to get on the plane, and the people acknowledging that I was on the plane. So that was the neat start of the day. And then we got into Canada, it was late at night. So it was no big hoopla, and not too many people were still awake. So it was a very quiet entrance. We snuck in the dark of night and uh, went to bed knowing that it was going to be a new world for me starting the next day. We're here in Canton, Ohio for the Hall of Fame photo op and they enjoyed every minute of it. I got my whole family here, my kids, grandkids, relatives, in-laws, friends, Raider Nation, everything is pretty magical. It's pretty magical. Hey! <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, no. oh, no. All right, good, man. Thank you about you. Yeah, same here. Hi there. Nice to see you. Bro. Okay. All of a sudden, here are all these gold jackets. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And I know all these people, I know who they are and their achievements, but we don't know each other that person because we didn't all play together. Okay, those that are seated, put your hands on your knees, please. Those that are standing, cross your arms in front of you. I went up to Calvin Johnson and uh, I said, congratulations, and you are one of my favorites. And he said, don't do that, coach. He said, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> I mean, here's this a giant of a man. His arm spreads from, from here to eternity. And uh, he says, don't do that, because you're going to make me cry. <laughs> Nicest human being. But he was a game changer, and, and uh, I admired him for what he did. Peyton Manning was fun to be around, and he's always a jokester, and he had things to say. So, you know, we had a pretty good class going in, class of 21. Okay, right there at the camera. One more. To see Tom Flores come here as an enshrining now, that is so not only personally rewarding, it's great for the sport. Because aside from being a great football person, he's a great person. He's such a, a role model to so many people at so many different levels. He is such a positive addition to the Hall of Fame. Having had a personal relationship with him as his ball boy back when he was with Buffalo is great for me, too. I, I just love it. Those sort of things, for me, they become very personal and so rewarding. It makes it all worthwhile. OK, last one. It's pretty awesome when you get in a room with all these guys because they all have something in common. And we're all going to spend the rest of our lives the rest of eternity together. He led the Raiders to not one but two Super Bowls as the head coach of the Raiders. He is none other than Pro Football Hall of Famer Coach Tom Flores. The gold jacket Friday night. I knew everybody said that that's a special moment because when you put that jacket on, you, you feel different. And I wasn't able to walk on stage because of my back issues, but I still stood up and uh, the commissioner and David Baker put the jacket on and uh, I did feel different. I did, all of a sudden, I, uh, my body kind of felt like it was glowing. Congratulations, Coach. You look dynamite. Congratulations. That's Tom Flores in a Hall of Fame jacket. I said, wow, this is something. You know, I said a lot of wows, a lot of quiet wows to myself. Wow, look at this. A lot of tears of joy. A lot of tears of joy. Did you ever think this moment would happen? Well, for a moment there, <laughs> for a couple of years, I didn't think it would ever happen. Then I said, well, if it happens, it happens. And it's finally happened. So 
happy. The gold jacket ceremony is really a very moving ceremony. And to realize that he finally made it and he could enjoy it was just like the icing on the cake. did really well. I think the hardest part was getting up on the back of the convertible, you know, with the cane and all this stuff. But anyway, he did it, and he just really enjoyed it. Started the parade, and I said, oh my God, where'd all these people come from? It was huge. A lot of Raider people, and uh, a lot of Pittsburgh, because it's right up the street, and the amount of respect that Pittsburgh fans gave Raiders. Remembering the great battles that we had, you could feel it when you went by. It's really cool. All these other teams giving so much respect to coach. The respect is and love and hate us at the same time. It's all about. <laughs> there were so many Raider fans in Canton, I just couldn't believe it. Just cheering and carrying on. It was really amazing to see so many Raider people in Canton, Ohio. And they are so much fun. Raider fans, I think, are more fun than almost anybody. They have a good time. <laughs> Mark's having a great time. You know, we're sitting there, my wife Barb was sitting in the seat, and we're sitting up on the back of the Camaro and waving at people. That was really fun. I kind of felt like Queen Elizabeth, you know, with my wave. <laughs> This is cool. This, this is worth getting up for. I mean, I was tired this morning when I got up. Mark and I both, but uh, this, is, this is worth it. It's worth it. Raider Nation, that's it, everywhere. Just win, baby. I learned so much from the Raiders while he was there about winning, about teamwork, you know, even stuff that you would think I'd already played seven years but the culture was a little bit different, and I think him being at the head of it was the guy that had to explain things to guys like me. He was awesome. It's really been a great experience. I'm so happy for him and Barbara and their whole family. He will go down in history forever. I think that's a real cool thing, and I'm happy to be part of his experience. I was a little blown away by that because, you know, I said, here we are all the way on the east side of the country, and some of these people don't even know who I am. Keep winning, baby! Just keep winning! Woo! But they did. You know, they're football fans, and football fans know who you are. They know what you've done. They respect what you've done. That was pretty special. Mark was already planning for next year. I said, we got to get in the float or something. <laughs> So we had a good time talking the whole time. I didn't realize it was that long. It was a long parade. A lot of waving, boy. We are celebrating a very special man. I have been a season ticket holder for the Raiders since 1968. So I've followed him all through the years. I can't stop from crying. I'm so happy for him. It was like walking down a path, and all the people on either side were just so happy and cheering for you. It was, it was a great feeling. Yeah! I wanted to have a dinner where my family and close friends could all gather. And so I had somebody get this restaurant, and they promised a section off of an area for us, and there would be a limited amount of signing, mainly for my foundation back home. Finally! 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 Yeah! And all of a sudden, this place was just jammed with the Raider Nation. They are amazing. People from the outside, when they first experience the Raider Nation, they're kind of overwhelmed. They don't quite know how to take them, you know? They're just um, unique. Our driver said, I've never seen anything like this in my life. <laughs> he said, I had to call my wife. 
and tell her about this. The Raider fans, he said, are different. I said, yeah, we are. We look bad, but we're not really bad. <laughs> This is one thing that I had to be at to make sure that we honored this man. The guy was so good to me that I just would do anything for him. He was someone who was patient, kind, knew his guys extremely well, and because he was a player, knew how to treat players. He let us have some fun, but we knew when it was time to work. So this man is just something that's very, very special to me personally. Finally made it. Finally frapping me. <laughs> that went on into the night. I had to finally put a stop. That's it. I said, we're going to get out of here and we're going to get some rest because tomorrow night is the big night. See you tomorrow. We had the round table. And that was really fun because just the class of 21, and we started telling stories. Coach Flores, I want to oh. start this off with you because you. you've waited an awful long time. Oh, is that just because I'm the oldest? Nope. It's because <laughs> you're the best looking. <laughs> but, you know, look, I mean, just looking around, look to your right and to your right. left. I mean, how amazing is it to be going in with a group of guys like this? Yeah, well, I've admired them for a long time. Coached against all these guys. They were all a pain in the ass to coach against. <laughs> but now we're on the same team, so this is kind of fun to be amongst the same team. I'm proud and honored to be with this group of guys. These guys are just the best. He was a little tired, and he thought maybe he'd skip it, and then he was so glad he didn't because he said it was really a fabulous experience. This is a question everybody wants answered. It may not go over well, but did Franco catch it? You know, uh we... <laughs> I was an assistant coach then, and we went back home and we looked at every film possible. And there wasn't a rule then, and uh, we couldn't see anything that was definitive. Uh, I found out years later that it, that, uh, that uh, it was still questionable, iffy. Yeah. We didn't think it was, but it, had that game been in Oakland, he would not have caught the ball. <laughs> <laughs> you get a bunch of players together, and we can tell stories because one story leads to another story, to another story, and before you know it, you're going full blast with football stories, life stories, fun stories, and that's like family. And let's recognize the gold jacket class of 2021. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is greatness. Black. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we were in a hotel like that, we were waiting for the knock on the door and it didn't come. And that was a disappointing night. This time we knew what was going to happen, so we were just waiting. I helped him with his collar, just making sure he, he looked good, and he did. It was so nice. I've been working on his feet for a while, and they're going to use a teleprompter for the. I'm not used to a teleprompter, but, but I got my speech, the regular one. And I told, I told him, and, you know, I'm not going to follow the whole thing like, just like it is. And so I need to add a few things. I know he can get nervous, but he really never projects that for some reason. He really feels things deeply, but he doesn't show it. That's just the way he is. <laughs> I never think about writing speeches until it's time to write a speech. And then I don't like to write speeches. I like to just write thoughts and then ad lib the thoughts. Because uh, if you're talking about your life, why do you have to write it down? Uh, <laughs> you should know it. 60 years I've been in this business. Go to 61. 55 with the Raiders. That's got to be a record. That's got to be a record. I am really frapping old. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You guys get out of here. I got to get going. I got to finish hoping because this old body's got to look good. <laughs> got to put my makeup on. He was really kind of emotional about it. You know, it's a culmination of 60 years of football, and then it's going to come together in one afternoon when his accomplishments are recognized. I think it made him reflect and just be so thankful that we reached this point in his life. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs>
tonight it will be a, a great celebration around greatness. There's some great players in that room. Boy, you're a, I'm in awe to sit next to Megatron. Megatron was pushing my, my wheelchair. Big man said, I got it. I got you, Coach Kerber. No, it's, it's been wonderful. Now it's uh, showtime. Raiders, baby. We love you guys. When I got there, little by little, it started getting bigger and bigger. The build-up to the uh, finale was uh, growing. So we're all back there, and we're all talking and joking, trying to keep the atmosphere light, because it was a heavy night. By that time, everything was ready to go. This was a climax. I was excited about watching Carol Davis introduce me. I hadn't seen the, the, the video, and I was really looking forward to that. If Al had been alive, he would have asked Al, because Al was his mentor. The Davis family has been part of our family, so he would have naturally asked Al to induct him. And he said, if Al can't do it, why not Carol? So the whole thing was like kind of like a dream, a dream come true. Pretty special. I am honored and privileged to present my friend Tom Flores for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. When Mark took the hood off, that was the first time I'd seen her, or, and he had seen it, or anybody, I should say. And that was, that was a thrill. It's, uh, I said, I'll be damned. They did a pretty good job. <laughs> they really captured him, I think. Not at this stage of our lives, but when he was younger. They even got, you know, his broken nose, <laughs> which I thought was really fun. They gave me everything I needed, and, and they gave me back some of my hair. I said, this is going to be me forever. The reason I'm second on the program is that I'm 84 frappin' years old. I've got to go to bed at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Baby, where's my pillow? My journey began a long time ago in my hometown of Sanger. We have people from Sanger here. Long way to come from Sanger. When Tom was giving his speech, he said, Oh, people from Sanger are here, you know. I think he was kind of surprised, too. There were so many. Did you ever try to get here? This is not an easy place to get to. I've been trying for a long time to get here. <laughs> Here's a memory I'd like to leave with you. It's Super Bowl 15 in New Orleans. There's one minute left, and we're ahead by 17 points. One of my assistants, Sam Bogosian, the late Sam Bogosian, who was also from the Central Valley of California, leaned over and, and looked at me and said, not bad for a couple of great pickers. Thank you so much, class of 2021. Go Raiders. Our whole family was together, and we all just kind of had this great moment, you know, where we were all just so proud of him and so happy for him. That was terrific. Contributed to the game of football in so many different ways, and it was recognized. Special night. Fortunately, my, my party was right across the street there, right across outside the stadium, so we didn't have very far to go. And then the party began, and, uh, and that was just non-stop till about one o'clock in the morning. Oh, the party was great. Oh my goodness. We had music, we had great food, and it was just remarkable to see the wide range of our friends that came from different times of our lives. And then to have Tom's players there, that really touched him. 
Marcus Allen gave an incredible speech. I mean, I was, I was in awe. Tom Flores is a part of my life forever. Nobody is more happier than I am. I know you're happy, Barbara, but nobody <laughs> is more happier than I am that Tom Flores is in the Hall of Fame where he will live in perpetuity forever, forever. Greatness is a part of your life. Look at where you came from and where you are now. Greatness is there. You are deserving of every honor that you've gotten. And this is the biggest. Like they said, 40,000 years from now, they'll know Tom Flores came by. I'm very proud of Tom. Uh, it took a long time in coming, but we all feel it's well deserved. You know, thank you, Tom. It really meant so much to him to finally make the Hall of Fame. I was just so proud of him and so happy for him. I really was. When it's all over, it's like somebody pulled the plug and you say, wow, now what? <laughs> you can reflect on the whole uh, journey and just be thankful that finally I'm in. It doesn't matter when, as long as you get in. And I'm in, and I can be a gold jacket guy, and I'm, I can visit myself in the Hall of Fame forever. <laughs>